The field of view is the one of the most important settings when it comes to sim racing and in this video we're gonna talk about the field of view and how you set it correctly. If you wonder what that field of view is all about and what it actually means, I can recommend you a video at the top right corner. We have taken a journey through R Factor 2 back then and we explain you there what is field of view, what it is all about, how do you calculate it and what is it actually meant to do. So we are starting then with a high field of view, 60 degrees vertical field of view. We jump into the car and you guys already see that all over perspective of car and the environment is a little bit stretched out. We lose the sense of speed, everything looks passing so quickly when we go through the turns. We don't really have a feeling as in how these turns are meant to be driven. And from the external onboard POV you see even further that all the straights are stretched, everything looks like a big long runway that just goes straight and whether we're doing 150 or 250 or almost uh, 300 kph is really hard to measure with the sense of an eye. You see as we turn in we're likely to miss apexes as the overall situation has just been displayed in a wrong shape to us. You will see this when we are going down with the field of view to well, 15 is a bit low, let's put it back to 20 and uh, then the actually the opposite happens. Now everything is really uh, condensed, everything is really tight and is being stretched like from left to right rather than from into, into the deep. And so we are still unable to judge how the corners need to be taken. Um, sometimes you turn in, you can't even see the end of the turn, so you do not really know how, uh, how long you need to steer, how hard you need to steer. And the moment that you guys just saw is plainly from you turn in the steering wheel and the screen is going, or the car on the screen is going left and right so quickly, so violently, that you feel like you have to co do corrections. Um, despite you might actually be on a perfect trajectory. So that is the opposite of a too big field. So as you've just seen, a wrong field of view can have a catastrophic impact on your racing performance. So how do you get your field of view correctly? For that, you need to have a measuring stick and the following web page. If you appreciate this video about the field of view, then please guys hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for more videos about Le Mans Ultimate and sim racing in general. So we are taking the measuring stick. You want to put the front end into the center of the screen. Please be careful to not scratch your screen. And then you want to measure at your eyes. Where are your eyes located on the measuring stick? And for me, that is, as you can see, 70 centimeters. So let's put that into the web page. Then you guys are going to the web page that is noted down in the video description below that gets you to this calculator. You put in your screen ratio, that for me is a 32 to 9 and a 49 inch screen my distance to the screen as we just measured was 70 centimeters like distance to the screen is really eyes to the center of the screen we have a single screen and very important we do have a curved stream here a uh, screen here so that obviously changes as our radial is 1700 so have a look as soon as i click yep we got a curved stream a curved screen sorry about that um, that changes the degrees significantly as also uh, as obviously the screen edges are further to your face or closer to your face than when you would have not got a curved screen. So let's put the 31 degrees into the field of view and see what it looks like. So we are heading back to the game 31 degrees field of view as per the calculation and now you guys straight away see that the picture is looking very much like on our streams. We see in a good portion of the car our seating position has always been the same like we have done the racing beforehand and finally we are able to get the turns in a good shape again because also from the external POV you see that the screen and everything we see from the road has finally some, some natural view. Uh, you have finally have 
a more sense of speed, sense of depth, sense of distance. The environment is moving in a natural way around you, just from the seating position where you are seated. And um, that is why field of view is such an important setting. So guys, I hope this video has helped you to find your personal perfect field of view for the best driving experience here on Le Mans Ultimate. That also obviously goes for R-Factor 2 or any other uh, game that is used in the same way of calculating the field of view for your screen. And if you guys have appreciated the video, please give it a like, share it to your friends, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell for more videos.